I don't like the cube. I'm not a cube person. Can I stop having the cube? Do I need to press command? Command the backspace. Command backspace. Function backspace. Oh, okay. Orbit around selection. No, don't orbit around selection. Orbit around the cursor, please. No? What are we orbiting around? Hmm. That, that, that doesn't work. I mean, this, this tool is unusable. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I'm doing here. Let, let me just try to model something. Why don't I have four views? Control Alt Q. Oh, here we go. Quad view. I really don't know what I'm doing. Say I want this view. But I wanted this view. Insane. Let, let's start with this dumb cube. Okay, there's some cube. I would like to orbit around this cube. Why am I not orbiting around selected object? Okay, so how do I pan this view? Oh, that now I'm panning this view. And uh, this is zoom. Is it zoom or is it just me moving? It's not zoom. It's get closer, get further. If it was zoom, I would be changing the, uh, the focal length. I, I hate this tool with passion, I must say. No, it's, 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 it's insane. This is insane. I can tell you that. Whoever designed this interface was a complete idiot. <laughs> Seriously. No, I, I can't. I can't do it. So, what can I even do here? Like, where is some modeling tools? Sculpting. Why everyone is just going to sculpt things right away? So why, why am I going to sculpt in here? This is, a, this is a cube. Let's make a character. Where is the wireframe? Here we go. First of all, you use wireframe. Um, no, this is so annoying. I don't want, like, I, I don't know what to do. Help me. I feel like I'm going to have to watch YouTube to understand how to use this viewport. Because if I cannot manipulate, if I cannot, uh, I mean, this is my selected object. I want to center it in the viewport. Where the mm, is the option to do that? View. Frame selected. Okay. But and does it mean that now I'm rotating around? No, it does not. Undo? No. Undo doesn't do anything. Um, hmm. I'm having anxiety attack right now. It's, it's, it's unusable. This, this is just... I, I, I want to, I don't know, I don't know how to set 3D cursor. I'm doing that. My screen is flat. Where does this cursor go? With What is the, the distance from my, I don't know, what is the Z of this? Where did that go? Why here and not here? Okay, I'm, I'm having a very hard time right now. Yes, I would like it to be like this. A little bit too high. Okay, that was not what I wanted. So once I do that, I can only add more. Maybe this will be, let's make this an arm. Just go like this. That's one arm. That's second arm. For now, that's some two arms we have. How do we make legs? Huh? We need to split it. We can cut like this. Uh, we can just go ahead like this. Now we can... I'm tired of this rotating these views all the time. Let's, let's say this is my body one side the other side like what is this camera doing here what is this light doing here this modeling view i don't want to have camera and light on modeling view who the hell 
Like, why would someone think this is useful to have those things here in this view? What's this cursor for? Why do I need that? Go away. I don't know what's for that. Okay, so we have this structure that looks like chest, right? Select these points, for example, and move them. Like, for example, you want to push it forwards, right? Now it starts having some shape. And, and then maybe you want to, I don't know, select those two and uh, scale. Scale is actually more symmetric move, you know? So I'm moving symmetrically. I'm moving those in one direction, those in another direction. So this is what I'm doing. And then I'm going to drag those two, also scale. Oh, here we go. Ta-da! And now I'm going to move this shoulders down a bit. All right? Oh, and now I'm going to... Hmm, good luck with that. I don't know. It just feels like it should be doing this. Okay, L let's say this is some, some shape, right? We, made, we gave it some shape. Okay, or some, some back maybe. The, the, the person needs a back. I would, I would push a little bit like this. And give it some maybe shoulders. So I need to split here to give it shoulders. Maybe a little bit here, right? And we can pull it backwards here. To give it a little bit more uh, three-dimensional um, shape to it. So it's not so flat. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to remove this face. I'm going to remove that. See, this is what happens when you have wireframe. Is this wireframe has to have this shading? How about I don't like this shading? I just want wires. I don't want any shading. Hmm. I want to add a point here. How can I do that? I, I, I try this. I'm going to go ahead and like this, this, this. Come on, close it. Close this. Enter. Oh, it did. Okay. So weird. Okay. Delete a face. Okay. So here's what we did. We, we, we violated the flow of the cube, right? Until, like, we already did that because we added those arms. So we already violated the UVs by doing that. I have no idea how we're going to, if I'm going to map UVs. Maybe you just have front and back texture and just map it somehow. We'll figure out later. It's a good good topology to start with. I think this uh, place is here and here. They need some dent. Oh, something like this, perhaps. And um, I don't know why is the way to do it. Maybe I'm going to do this and this. Go closer here. I feel like... A boot would be nice to have, no? Are we gonna add a boot to it? What will happen if I do this? Huh, that's not nice at all. We just need to get rid of those two faces. Just delete that. Oh, this way. This way there is no problem. We'll create a new one later. And can do this and this. Now I can create more shape to it. Let's say the knife is a good thing in here. It's not a bad thing at all. The knife is nice. Okay, that's my shoulders, I suppose. Something like that. Right? I'm not, not sure what's the proportion. Probably they are not correct. <laughs> Let's bring this a little bit closer. All right. And maybe maybe this needs to get closer and make it narrower. At the end of the day, this is supposed to be waste. So. Right. It's going to be some nice girl. No? Okay, 
that's my that's my biog. What is this doing? Okay, I'm gonna knife it here. Bong! That's gonna be my one leg. See? Just that's how you do it. You just cut faces, move vertices around. This is how you create a 3D model. Of course, you can use some other things, but this is a very simple way of doing it. I'm not sure if I did the right thing here. I might want to add more. There's like a missing belly. <laughs> it goes out of the belly kind of thing. Um, let's cut it here. Maybe I just drag these points individually. No. Maybe I want to drag this up a bit. Oh, something like that, yeah. And then I can just move it. Oh, now that can be belly. I can just move it. I'm still annoyed with this viewport. Okay, let's just, just select all that. Move it down somewhere here. It starts having too many vertices and I start not being able to say what's what. <laughs> That's what happens when you work with 3D models and wireframes. Wider a bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's actually cool. This tool is cool. I like it. It, I like that it actually works on the surface of this thing. That it's not like some random. But why is this orbiting not orbiting the way I would like it to orbit? That I cannot. That's that's constant fight with this thing. I'm not. I'm doing nothing else. I'm just fighting with the tool. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and like here I need more detail. Okay, I need more detail here. And I'm gonna go like this because oh and and, and maybe I don't know, maybe just here. Just cut it like like this. And maybe I want more detail here as well. Same story. There should be some symmetry. You have like uh, two legs. And then you have belly. belly, belly goes down around like this, and legs go the other way. So it's kind of like interesting in this way. Um, and maybe I want, like this, this goes into one point, and maybe it should be wider because we're gonna make it like a, you know, a groin. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, maybe I should cut here, for example, here. Oh, let's try this, let's try that. Just do this good here. Okay, we got some faces there. Now I say I'm gonna connect that somehow. I need to connect this, right? This one, this one, this one, and this one. And we have something like a groin. One, two, three, four. Because you know, between the legs, there is a place between the legs. <laughs> and that's our place between the legs, you know. And we can split it again because this is our place between the legs, which we need to split. <laughs> because these lines will follow the legs. I'm telling you. This. Okay, and this. This goes down. See? Ha! Huh. That will be legs. I need to go here and here and oh, this doesn't work. I can't really get that. I want to delete the face. I suppose we may want to pull it forwards a little bit, give it a little bit of this abs that we spoke about. The ribs need to go a little bit down on this. 
right? We need to go down like this. Can fix this. It's a bit too wide to my eye. The proportions are probably not great anyway. You know, I'm not trying to make it in proportions or anything like that. I'm just trying to create a good topology of my model. Make sure that all the lines make sense. So they can like, say, okay, so this is chest, this is legs, this is my groin, and so on. I have all the lines, you know. Kind of. Okay, I can. The blue one is gonna do the. Okay. Oh. Here's our leg. Oh. Look at this. This thing starts becoming a creature. It starts looking like a, well, a character, right? It has arms and legs and chest and apes and groin. Yeah, that's a lot of detail. The rotation is in the right place. I don't know what I did. I don't want to be rotating around some random point that I click. So this thing here doesn't look good, right? We need to quit that as well. And quit this. Maybe that's my face. Oh. Maybe I wanna cut it or something. Yeah, I might want to create a cut here, like this, and move this point here a bit upwards. Okay. Now I probably want to change the uh, topology of this. I don't like it broken this way. I want it broken this way. Now I want to furnish those. Oh, ta da da. And I think I can vanish this one. Oh. Now I created some basis for the neck. Something that I can use as a neck. I can start building my neck. You know? And I have a feeling it's a case for triangle. Oh, here. Right, it's a perfect case for some triangle. Maybe it's also a case for me to create a face here. Okay, and same on the other side. Oh, we can actually leave it this way because this is like a, you know, how do we call this bone in front? You know, there's a bone in front. Um, Actually, collarbone, is it? Not sure. Anyway, we can connect those points to as well. And now we can dissolve some. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. A little bit more with the chest. Yeah, it looks looks fine. I'd say. I can just do that, and I can just do that with one scale. Oh, here we go. Makes more sense, more gaily. More better proportion, not so wide. If I'm selecting all these points, this is what happens when I scale. So these points are moving as well, you see? So I want to make them like this. It's going to be looking stupid because it's going to be like like, like this. This is not what we wanted. But you can totally do it like this. These two points and these two points. And look what happens. Oh, here we go. And we have it nice now. Now, is it is it nice? Is it not too wide? Oh, I feel like it is too wide. I don't like it so wide. 
or a little bit more subtle, I'd say. To me, it makes sense that it's more like this. And now I'm going to move this one downwards. I'm going to move this one downwards. Usually, lines should kind of align on the side viewport. So, you know, you can find a place where they do align. Okay, somehow. Let's see how this looks. Hang on. Can do better, right? Can always do better. We can select those legs and extrude them and make more of them. You know, we can just do this and go ahead and do more legs. No, not that much. What is this? What did we do? We didn't want that much legs. Perhaps uh, this part here should compact a little bit faster. I don't know. Something like this. Right, so this is how you soften it. I see. So what we can do is select all. Hmm. We can select subdivide and then you can use this. All. And now it's rounded. You see? Now it's rounded. And I want to render it. Where is the light? What happened to the light? Is this the light? No, this is the light. Shading, modeling, layout. Is this what it is? Layout? Okay. That's how it's called in Lightwave. Is this shaded? Not shaded? Why is it not shaded? Well, I don't understand. Alright, there is some something that got rendered. <sighs> Square faces. <laughs> Some some material uh, settings need to be given so that it's smooth. And I'm just gonna Google it. How to make smooth material in Blender? The easiest way to set the entire object as smooth surfaces by selecting Mesh. Select Shade Smooth in Object Menu. Okay, let's do that with an object menu. So that's my thing, object menu. This is a shade smooth by angle, based on the angle between neighboring faces. Okay, this might be interesting. Okay, so that's what it did. It made it like not so smooth. Smooth in places and not smooth in other places. And how about we just say shade smooth generally? Oh, and that's what we need. That's exactly what I need. And now I need to go to layout. And in the layout, I'm gonna move the light in a position that will make me happy. Okay. Why is it not rendering the light in this view? Viewport shading it doesn't render the light. That's not cool. It's just like this. Like a plastic from plastiline <laughs> or modeling or whatever you want to call it. And 
and I'm trying to have a something, right? So it's a chest and groin, like uh, that's all it is. Yeah. And we can add the head at some stage. <laughs> do, do you guys think it, this thing needs a head? Maybe it does, right? 